In this video, the debate between a Muslim imam in New York and a Saudi also in the USA, who had left Islam, but, a scholar of in-depth knowledge of the Quran and Hadiths. The imam looks like, a Pakistani-American, lacking, even basic knowledge and trying to rely on hearsay rather than scriptural evidence. The Muslim theological learning, are facing basic faults, and are disabled, to walk with post-industrial culture. Faith is not a fact but metaphysics, cannot be verified or rejected. Hello? Hello? Yes. Yes. I do man. I'm fine. Is that Sheikh? Uh... Sheikh, Sheikh Abdul Wadud. Welcome, Sheikh Abdul Wadud. How are you doing, my friend? I'm good. How are you, man? I'm all Everything right. good? I'm very good. So I've been told by uh, one of your students you want to call me and explain to me something about the Quran, if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, I want to explain it. All right, that's wonderful. So uh, what about the Prophet Muhammad? He uh, recited that the three daughters of Allah, it is a must to ask them to, for intercession, and he bowed down to them. What do you say about that? He never bowed down to them. What he did was mm -hmm. that uh, at the time of, uh, you know, before the Prophet of uh, Muhammad, is their opponent. Hmm. The people, what they are doing, they are worshiping Latin hmm. also. So, Messenger Muhammad hmm. is their opponent, was sent to tell them to not worship Latin also. Okay. And to worship only one Allah. Hmm. But this is not what Islamic source says, my friend. The Quran says in chapter 22, verse number 52. That shaitan he throw in the mouth of Muhammad satanic verses and then uh, all the reference says that Muhammad the prophet of Islam when he was reciting the chapter of an najm he said that those are manat and alat al-uzza the three daughters of Allah their intercession is a must and he bowed down and all the pagan bowed down behind him and even the pagan they said we never saw a prophet uh, 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 like uh, uh, praising our gods as this before so your prophet he bowed down and the pagan they bowed down to the three daughters of Allah and your prophet he mentioned their names do you hear me shake as I, as I told you that at that time if you know the history of Arab mm. those people they were worshipping at that time mm -hmm. Allah was telling them to not worship. Mm. Yeah, I know that, but why why Muhammad he bowed down with them? You see, I have a story written by you Muslims, not by me. You see, okay, bring the bring the history in front of me so I can see it. Okay, do you see the screen? Do you see my screen? Just wait a minute, my student is working on it. Okay. Okay, this is Asabi Nuzul Al Wahid. Do you speak Arabic, the Sheikh? Yeah, I do. Yeah, let's see what. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Let me highlight for you so you can see. It says okay. here, you know. Uh, so when the messenger he was reciting, he revealed to Muhammad uh, to him Surah An Najm by the star when it saith Surah uh, chapter fifty three, the messenger of Allah bless him and give him peace recited recited it. But when he reached, uh, uh, have ye uh, thought upon the Allah and Al Uzza and Manat, the third, the other. Uh, chapter 53 verse number 19 to 20 the devil put in his tongue that he had secretly wished and hoped for and said these are the mighty grands the Garanik and their intercession is to be hoped and then when Quraysh heard him saying that when Quraysh they heard this they they were very pleased and the messenger of Allah bless him and give him peace uh, uh, carried on reciting until the end of the surah 
and then he prostrated and the Muslims followed uh, and they prostrate and all the idolaters they're prostrated uh, there too and those all the were present whether they are uh, uh, believers or disbelievers all of them they bow down together except the man his name is a Walid because he was an old man so your source my friend saying clearly that your prophet he worshiped the three daughters of Allah he granted them prayer and he was teaching claiming that Allah taught him to say that the three daughters of Allah they are to worship and ask for intercession what do you say if you look at the uh, the translation right the translation is telling you hmm. the messenger of Allah, Allah bless him hmm. gave peace and care and reciting the end of the surah so that means that he was reciting Quran and he went to such that to Allah he didn't do such that to the Latin Uzzah yeah, but he mentioned already, already he mentioned that Allah and Al-Uzza, he acknowledged them as their intercession is a must. And then he bowed down after, at the end, no problem. That, the, that yes. was the problem. No, that was the problem at that time that the Mushrikini Makkah, hmm. they were worshipping, they were worshipping Latin Uzza. Hmm. And your prophet, he worshipped them, as you see, he, he mentioned their name. He was, he was reciting the mm -hmm. verses of Quran. Okay, what he said, what he said, he said that the three daughters of Allah, their intercession is a must. Right? So your so prophet... That, that was the must for the Mushriki in America. Yeah, but he is the one who said that. He is the one he who said, said that he said that was the must for the in Makkah. No, 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 so he did not. No, 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 he did not say it's a must for the Mushrikeen. He was reciting chapter of the Quran. He was not reciting what 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 they believe. He was reciting Quran chapter of an Najm. So he was mm -hmm. reciting an Najm, and he inserted he inserted in the Najm that the three daughters of Allah, their intercession is a must. It's, he is not saying. Don't say that he was saying it's a it's a must for them. That is that is not true, my friend. That is not to fabricate. Don't fabricate things some your prophet did not say. It's not fabricated, brother. Okay. I think you have a lot of questions about Islam. Mm -hmm. I think you 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 are um, you are questioning Islam by so much that uh, you have read everything. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. That's uh, well done for you. Mm -hmm. You have read it, but you have not read it with a scholar of Islam. Mm -hmm. So you need to sit with a scholar and learn from them mm -hmm. to teach you the mm -hmm. Quran and, and Hadith in detail. Okay. So you can the Quran and Hadith really is about. Hmm. So you're asking me now to go and uh, learn from the scholars. I thought you are a scholar, you are a sheikh. Yeah, that's what I'm okay. saying to you. Okay, so as long as you, you are a sheikh, why you are changing what is written there? It says that the Prophet, he said, that the three daughters of Allah, the Garanik, their intercession is a must. At the end, he bowed down, and all the pagans, they bowed down, bow down together. And not only that, the people of Quraysh, they said, we never heard Muhammad creating our gods as much as good as today. So here we go. He greeted them. He said their intercession is a must. And he bowed down at the end, which means he bowed down for whatever he said. Whatever he said in that chapter, he bowed down and he started worshipping. He said that the three daughters are included in his prayer. He, he pray. He's saying, reciting Quran. And then he says the three daughters of Allah, their intercession is a must. And then at the end, he bowed down. He bowed down for what? For every word he said before he bowed down. So, yes, he bowed down to the idols, the three daughters. And as you see, even the, the Quraysh, all, suddenly all of them together, they are worshipping the same God. And not only that, they said, Muhammad, he never mentioned our gods as good as today before. And this is why people they thought that more Muslims and, uh, and the Arab, they became united because now they are worshipping the same God. And it is Allah, and it is the daughter of Allah. So don't tell me go and ask the scholars. You yeah, claim, you claim to be a scholar, and this is a scholar. The one is talking here is a scholar, by the way. This is Asbab al Nuzul. This is not my book. Mm -hmm. So the thing is that you need to sit face to face with a scholar and have your question, you know, in front of him. Mm -hmm. You are saying in this ayat, or the Surah Najar, ayat number 19. That have you ever considered the idols of Latin Ulza? Mm. And then about the other, the third, and the Manat, mm. then is, is it that you that he has male and female, he Allah has females, mm. and it's so it's totally unjust division. Mm. And after that, there is nothing but the names you and your forefather have invited. Mm. 
Allah has sent down no authority attached to them. They are the following nothing but conjunction and what their soul desire while guidance from their Lord Lord hmm. surely reach them. Yeah, but the, but the question, my friend, the Quran is saying it's now that Shaitan. Yeah, but the Shaitan, the Quran, the Hadith says, the Quran says that Shaitan he throw in the mouth of Muhammad satanic verses, correct? Shaitan was trying to do that, but no. Muhammad no. never listened. No, 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 not trying. No, no, my friend, let us be honest. The, 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 the statement in the front of you where it says he was trying, he wasn't trying, he was successful. As you see, it says here the devil he throw in his tongue, he throw already, and your prophet recited that. He did not try, it was successful. Your prophet, he said that the, the three daughters of Allah, their intercession is to be hoped for. So he was not a trying, he did. The, when the messenger, read carefully with me, my friend, okay? Read carefully, please. When he arrived reciting Allah and Uzza and Manad, the third, he, the, the devil, let us read together, the devil put in on his tongue what he had secretly wished and hoped for, which means the devil he wished for. These are the mighty grants, the granite, and their intercession is to be hoped for. So your prophet, he said, what the devil he put in his tongue said that and everybody heard him the the three daughters of Allah Allah and Manat and Uzza their intercession is a must and hoped for so your prophet recite recited satanic verses and not only that you will see in the same page you will see that the angel later angel Jibril came to Muhammad and he said to him those message those verses you recited before is not from Allah here we go at the evening read with me carefully at the evening Jibreel peace be upon him went to the messenger of Allah uh, Allah bless him and give him peace and said what have you done you recited to people that which is did not bring from Allah glory is to he and you said what he did not what I did not say to you so my friend don't tell me that Satan was trying Shaitan was able and he was successful and even Jibreel he came to Muhammad and he said to him what you have done Go ahead my friend answer So it, 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 if you know that most of the past year of the Quran that mm -hmm. you know there is not most sometimes they're not recommended by all the scholars Uh-huh you, you get you know about this right? What is what is the one you recommend for me as long as this one is not recommended I would, I would recommend um, Quran by my student he started me to make it easy for which one for which the, one which one which one my and by Mufti Muhammad uh, this is a this is a new are you Ahmadiyya or something this is a new those are you scholars do, who are those scholars those are not scholars I never heard of them so you are saying to me they, imam they like Al-Wahidi Al-Tabari um, Al-Tabari um, Al Al the real imams are not considered by you but a guy who just born yesterday he made a book and this is the, the this is the one who will explain the Quran to us don't you think that this is a hypocrisy it's not hypocrisy. So why, how but you don't accept the original the scholars? How come now this, this guy, you are calling him Mufti? He learned his religion from who? From those scholars. So how now he can explain the Quran better than them? Better than them. Why? You, you, how he how, so how, 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 how is what? He is so good. So now what we will do with this? Are you saying that this guy, he, what, what can you read for me what this guy, he said about this verse? Okay. You, okay, go ahead. What your scholar, yeah, he, he said. He's saying that we did not send any messenger Allah says mm. you are not our prophet. He faced a situation that when he recited the revelation, the satanic cast doubts about what he recited. The satanic people or those people who are worshipping mm. Lot and Oza. Okay? So Allah nullifies what the satan cast, then Allah makes his verses firm. Allah is unknowing and unwise. This is an interpretation now? He did not. He did, he, did not he, did, he did not give interpretation. He's just quoting the verse again. I mean, this is funny. How this can be interpretation? He's just oh, this, oh, my friend. Okay, I, I, will, I will go. I will go with this funny interpretation because he did not give interpretation. He did not give interpretation. Secondly, you just admitted that Shaitan he cast in the mouth of Muhammad, and Allah will delete it. What Allah deleted from mouth of Muhammad? What Allah deleted? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This case, this case here is about Muhammad. Oh, my friend, no problem. No problem. 
don't, don't, what he my, my friend each time I talk to you you start reading from zero I look like you know we have a machine talking to us my friend I'm asking you a friendly please friendly the, the verse saying the verse saying and you quote for me and I heard you that he said that Satan cast cast okay Satan cast what exactly can you quote for us what he cast in the mouth of Muhammad the Satan cast doubts about what he recited what he recited can you tell me this is not the question my friend this is not the question you just said Satan he cast in the mouth of Muhammad the question is what he cast in the mouth of Muhammad can you tell me the words about what he recited yes about what he cast what, what the shaitan cast Allah will take it off correct okay but what he cast what the shaitan said to Muhammad as you, you said in Surah Al Najm that Latin was the was the people of, of Quraysh they were worshipping Latin at that time this is not the question so, this is not the question my friend I don't know what's wrong with Muslims the second we ask them a question they go in panic mood I'm asking you friendly so fine, what I what the shaitan what the Satan told Muhammad when he was speaking what Satan made Muhammad what he threw in his tongue what is the sentence can you quote the, the sentence for us so that Satan they put nothing in the mouth of Muhammad they were they, in, the, in the mouth of Muhammad they were trying to uh, put something of Latin Uzzah. where you are getting this from I mean what what do you mean trying the, the, it says there that he the, even the Quran says Satan cast Allah will take it off not a trying who trying it is a shaitan he cast in the mouth of Muhammad. Muhammad is from the satanic people or he is a prophet. He is a prophet supposedly. So the, the Quran confirmed that Allah cast in his mouth. Why you are changing the words? I'm asking you, my friend. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. First of all, first of all, when you say to me, you, you hear me? You hear me? When you say to me that they are trying, you are you are corrupting the Quran. The Quran says it clearly that Allah will take what Shaitan cast in the Quran, not in the book of the pagan. The pagan is not; they are not following Allah anyway. They don't have a book. Come on, the verse says clearly: whatever Shaitan he cast, Allah will take it off. Take it off from where? From the Quran, not from the book of the of the pagan.